Welcome to Nubs Gaming, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. We've been waiting years for this game and so excited to be playing it. I'm already about 25% into the game. I didn't want to stream the very beginning of the game. I figure you've probably either already seen it, if you're tuning into this video, or you've, uh, oh yeah, I just, I just wanted to spare anybody from any kind of spoilers. And so, uh, that's the reason why I didn't stream the very beginning of the game. I feel like that's kind of crucial um, to everyone's gameplay for them to be able to see the very beginning of the game themselves uh, without spoilers. So I did want to do a couple of <coughs> uh, helpful information uh, with this stream. Things that to help you out in the game, uh, to make this game more fulfilling for you. It's first of all, let me just say that you know from watching other streams um, that some people just don't seem to get the uh, the gist of this game and what it's all about, um, and so that that kind of frustrates me that I think that um, some people just don't understand that this you know, some, basically what I heard was a comment that um, this is this game is nothing more than a horse simulator and you know really that's not true <laughs> uh, <sighs> there's so much more to this game than riding on your horse and, you know riding on the horse obviously is a large part of the game. Um, nobody's gonna deny that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Ugh. But uh, it's definitely not the only thing that this game is about. And it, it, riding on the horse itself, um, there. There's a, a basically a way that you can ride on the horse traveling from A to B, which I'm about to show you, um, that makes this game m much more immersive. And that's really what this game is. It's, it's, an, it's an immersion uh, type game. It's not something that... Um, it's just a horse simulator. That, to say something like that is just ridiculous. Um, but anyways, alright, so just to go back to the, um, uh, to what I was saying, uh, before I go on with that, though, yeah, basically this, this game is about immersion. It's about bringing you back to a time in the United States where there were gunslingers and living was extremely difficult, uh, before the, uh, um, industrial revolution and times in life were just very difficult for those living out uh, on the range. And I, I fell in love with Red Dead Redemption, the first game. Um, it was just an amazing game. And Red Dead Redemption 2, they have definitely, definitely stepped up the game and improved on their original creation. Um, these days ain't sure. by far really really by yeah. far there we go and rockstar you know some people were also complaining that you know it took forever for this game to come out and we had to wait 10 years for it well you know i don't know exactly when the development for red dead redemption 2 began but it wasn't 10 years ago you know and, and rockstar is one of the leading development companies uh, for games in the world and there's a very specific reason why they're one of the best developers in the world and that's specifically because they take their time uh, in their game creations they don't just spend a year or two making a game and throw it out and then you know get a uh, um, basically get a uh, a couple, okay, a couple girl. patches in there, and then leave you with a bunch of bugs and 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 frustration as as a person person who purchases the game. 
Hey! So. Who's there? Arthur! Look who's back! Anyways, so. Now that we've covered all the kind of basics, things I did want to talk about. Immersion Rockstar did an amazing job on this game. Um, it's definitely a step up from the first game. And, um. You know, that's really what this game is all about. They did an excellent job. The graphics, the gameplay, everything is just so smooth. It's so nice. So anyways, a, tips, a couple tips and tricks um, to help you out as you're playing the game. Um, so this is the camp. This uh, The camp gets unlocked um, in Chapter 2 after the beginning of the game. I'm not going to tell you um, exactly what goes on at the beginning of the game. You can discover that yourself. Good morning, Arthur. Uh, but this is the camp. So this is um, Pearson. You can donate food to him, and you're going to want to do that to um, to keep the uh, keep the camp up and running. Okay then. Um, so that's thanks, the food. Now I have yet to do. Uh, a mission over Good morning, here Uncle Arthur. Um, with this gentleman, the, the German guy. Um, but once that's done, I will be able to get the ledger where I'll be able to upgrade the camp. Um, other than that, you can contribute to the camp. So you can tap the triangle button by walking up to the contrib contribute. Uh, the box here and you can either give items or you can give money now as far as giving items goes that's going to be all this jewelry type stuff that you pick up off of people um, when you rob them now or not rob them but when you loot a dead body you will often get these types of jewelries I will say this uh, if you're hurting for money don't contribute uh, these items because at a fence which unlocks later on I'll show you a location on the map for the fence that I found uh, there's a few of them throughout the map but uh, these items sell for quite a bit of money but don't don't sell all of them sell them down but keep at least one of each in your inventory and the reason why I say keep one of each is because later on in the game from the fences themselves you'll be able to craft uh, special items like talismans that help you uh, buff uh, certain skills, stats, so on and so forth. So make sure you keep at least one so that you can uh, do that. I don't know what exactly what ones you exactly need. Uh, I just know that that's that some of these items are going to be used like necklaces and rings and so on and so forth to craft at the fence. Other than that, you can give money. Um, just again, uh, like if you're hurting for money, you're going to want to sell those items to the fence, but just keep one of them. Uh, other than that, you can donate money, and that's probably the, the best thing for you to donate. Uh, the lower amount is your amount, and the higher amount is what the total uh, co uh, contribution amount is. So I have 218, and the camp has 250. So I'm going to donate $18.21. Once you go above the dollar amount, it you can't do cents. Uh, or what? Maybe you can. Just wait a second. And 21. Okay, so donate $18.21. Now I got two sixty nine seventeen in the in the camp. Now, once you get the ledger, you'll be able to upgrade things, but I think you use the money out of the total of, uh, contribution on the top to be able to do that. I'm not really sure. I haven't got to that stage, but once I do, I'll inform you guys on how that works. And you got a couple fire pits here that you can cook from. This one here on the right in the camp, um, you, cannot, you can't cook at this one, but the one uh, back here... this campfire back here you can cook at and what you want to do is basically come over here 
and you can see the little fire uh, cooking uh, grill. So you want to rest by fire. And then you're going to tap square to craft cook. And so here we come in here and we can uh, do all the crafting and cooking. Now you can cook just plain venison but if you look at the arrows on the left and right you can use the directional pad to scroll left or right and you can cook different versions of the different types of meat and that will produce uh, give you a bonus as you can see the uh, to your health your stamina and your dead eye so I have some oregano and I have some thyme so I'm gonna cook one oregano and it cooks it down and then once it cooks down all the way you can stow it or you can eat it in this case I'm gonna stow it can't cook another because I'm out of time or out of oregano so now I'll just cook the rest with the thyme and the oregano gives a better bonus to stamina where the the time gives a better bonus to Deadeye. But both uh, oregano and the time fill your health meter um, all the way. Or, actually, no. The time doesn't affect uh, health and stamina as much as it does Deadeye. The oregano affects the stamina the most while leaving the health and the Deadeye just slightly below full. The minty does more health and less stamina and dead eye. You can barely see it. And the plain venison does uh, full health, uh, a little bit, uh, almost full stamina, and looks like almost full dead eye. I can't, I can't quite tell on that one. But, anyways, the different versions have um, um, uh, different effects. So, uh, what, why can I not craft that? Maybe because, oh, I have five of five, okay. So I'm just gonna cook the last two and eat them. So that's the other thing I wanna say about this game is that you want to eat often. Make sure that you eat often. Uh, you're gonna wanna at least eat three times a day. And so as you're hunting, uh, set up a camp and cook your food and then eat some of it. And as you're going throughout towns, make sure you stop into the saloons and get yourself something to eat and at least eat, you know, at least three times a day. Or, or spend one moment in a day where you just eat like a pig. We'll get back to that here in a moment. But, um... Uh, for the crafting, as you can see on the top, you can hit the R1 and you can do different things. So we have provisions, so that's all food type stuff, tonics, ammo, weapons, hunting, and uh, horse care. So right now I can't craft anything because I don't, I either don't have the materials that I need or uh, I'm full up on the materials. So basically one of the things you can craft um, while at a camp that's the simplest thing to craft is uh, split bullets uh, where you put an X on the uh, the bullet head and the ball of the bullet and then you're able to it does more damage so over here is um, oh wait before I move before I talk about um, Arthur's tent here real quick um, pressing the start button you can go down to your player and open up into Arthur and go into general now here is where you want to take a look at your weight. Um, so this is kind of tricky. Uh, keeping his weight um, at the exact amount that you need, like right there in the middle, um, is kind of difficult to do. Right now I'm slightly overweight. And because I'm slightly overweight, my my stamina is going to drain, um, but I'll get a bonus to my damage absorption. 
and when you're underweight uh, you'll get a bonus to your stamina but your damage absorption will be in the minus so you really want to keep an eye on that it's probably better for you to be overweight than it is for you to be underweight uh, just because of the damage absorption uh, effect of that you can look take a look at your temperature your toxicities and your well-beings so on and so forth look at all your drain rates uh, at your perks right now I have the fox claw trinket from the legendary fox this is increases the time the eagle eye can stay active by five seconds I have the buck antler trinket uh, trinket uh, the player receives a higher quality skinned animal parts um, and then the eagle talon I got from being uh, purchasing the ultimate edition of the game it permanently perm permanently increases the time that eagle eye can stay active by five seconds um, you can also check out your health your stamina and your dead eye of course all okay, right so in the camp here is uh, Arthur's tent from Arthur's tent you can oh, you can walk into ropes you can shave the stand here. Morning, uh, right now I'm not shaving. I'm gonna um, let my beard grow. And then you can sleep here or sit. Uh, there's also uh, a book that you can read. Oh, I can face the right way. Um, you just hold down the L2 button and go up and down here you read rambles through the woods and plains um, there's some photographs and stuff like that Keep it coming. but until the ledger gets unlocked you won't be able to uh, donate to the ammunition and to the medical supplies you can only donate to uh, Pearson for the food if you press the down directional button up in the top right corner will show <coughs> the status of the food the ammunition and the medical if it's in the white then that means it's across the board it's okay if it's red that means that there's no supplies and if it's in the uh, if it's yellowish or orange uh, that means that it, there is abundance of supplies so that's a good thing okay All right, girl. So now we're going to go ahead and just leave camp. That pretty much covers camp. There's not much more to do in the camp besides uh, what I've explained so far. Course looks to be in good shape. Um, so let's quickly uh, go over horse bonding. So after the chapter two, uh, there's a mission um, that you need to go into town. We'll go hunting, actually. With um, and there we go. after you do that you go into Valentine on your way to hunt the legendary bear and when you go to Valentine you're going to go into the stables where you can get the horses if you did a pre-order um, uh, and then at the end of that uh, stable part you're going to get the tact which is the brush so while you're on your horse itself you can use the brush on hey, your horse okay, if you're moving too fast, you won't, it, he won't do it. And so this is one of the ways, as you're actually traveling, to increase the bond with your horse. So you're just brush, and then L3, give it a pat, and you can see over there on the right that it's just continuing to give a bonus to the relationship with the horse. So every other one will do it. So a brush, a pad, a brush, a pad. And so you just want to just keep doing this. Uh, take a, just basically go out and ride, walk your horse from point A to point B, and that will uh, increase the bond. And from the time you can get from. Uh, from Valentine down to uh, 
basically if you did this on the way from Valentine all the way down to St. Denis you could increase the level the bonding of your level at least by one level about that's about the trail amount that you're gonna need to take to uh, to do that but no matter what as long as you just keep going and or keep doing that um, that will definitely definitely help you increase the relationship with your horse so you can do the three different things you can clean the horse you can pat the horse and then of course you can feed your horse so I think I should have some carrots in here there we go. I want to save the oat cakes and for when your horse gets hurt. Uh, the random stuff like um, carrots and things like that, you can uh, feed your horse. Just be careful of what you do feed the horse because there there may be items in here um, that can actually poison your horse. But it will tell you what it does right there in the middle. Um, there's definitely some things like sage and ginseng uh, that you do not want to feed to your horse. You want to save that stuff for um, for uh, using on for crafting uh, tonics. Uh, so things like carrots and a little bit of hay or oat cakes, uh, apples that you can buy in the general store, wild carrots that you find out in the and obviously go. out in the wilds. Will, uh, will, will, those are going to be the items that you're going to want to feed your you're horse. All right, girl. So you can see as I'm doing this, it's just basically increasing the bond with the horse uh, quite a bit. And it just you just keep riding okay. and it, it, your horse will eventually uh, level up. And you can, I believe, if you go in here, you can look and see what level your horse is at. Right now, I'm at bonding level three of four with this horse, and then uh, you can also go into the controls to see um, um, how to, um, what kind of different things you can do with your horse. Uh, wait, not not uh, not this uh, progress. Is it an, is it under progress? I think it's under compendium, I believe. Equipment, gangs, plants, horses. No, it's not in this. Okay, it's in. Um, story. No, not in story. Where is it at? Um, not in that. Where the heck is it at? Oh, it's under the help. Duh. So if you look in the help, go to your horse, use a left analog stick to, dra to drag this down, and at certain bond indices there on the bottom left, at certain bonding levels you can perform more complex maneuvers. At the bonding level 2, hold R1 and tap square uh, when stationary to rear. At bonding level 3, hold R1 and X while moving to skid, turn, or skid stop. And at bonding level four, hold square to perform a uh, path. While doing this, press the left analog stick right or left while moving to drift. So that the help will will uh, show you how to do all that different stuff. But here's one thing you can do if you have if you're questioning about crafting. And you don't exactly know how to craft, or you're trying to craft specific items, and what you need to craft those items. Just get off your horse, hold down the triangle button to rest, and then go into the crafting menu. So you can see from here that this will show you exactly what you need to do specific things, um, like uh, exotic bird. For example, and you can see once it has the arrows on the left and the right, you can see what different types that you can make. So we can make the mint, we can make the oregano, the thyme, and the plant exotic. All right. 
So this will show you all of the different things that you can craft as far as provisions. Um, and the list tells you how many there are. There's 16 of 16. Now I don't know if later, I don't know if it's, if this is showing everything at the very beginning of the game or if it's as you play along different things unlock inside of these uh, the crafting. I do know that there are certain recipes that you need to actually unlock like uh, poison arrows. You need to get the recipe from a fence. Um, the same guys you would sell the jewelry to. So tonics. Uh, this is all the different tonics that I can make at the, at the moment. Uh, the different types of ammo. So we can make explosive uh, cartridges. We can make the split point, which is what you definitely want to make is split point as soon as you, at the very beginning of the game, turn all of your ammunition into split point. We have uh, dynamite arrows, we have buckshot, incendiary, poison arrows. Uh, I don't have the recipe, so recipe not known, so I won't be able to make that until I can until I buy the recipe. Fire arrows, improved arrows, which is what we're gonna do now. Uh, I need, I definitely need more improved arrows. Um, arrows for small game. Uh, different things, different weapons, throwing knives, fire bottles, tomahawks, um, provisions, potent predator bait, uh, predator bait, cover scent lotion, potent herbivore bait. So you need different types of flowers to be able to create these these items. Um, and then of course horse care, so horse meal, don't have the recipe yet. So all these different things, once you buy the recipe, you can go out and get the required items to craft them. So this this will show you everything. The point of showing you this is that by doing this rest and then going to craft, this will show you everything that you're able to craft right now. So by doing that, you can uh, come in here and you can see, okay, well, I need to make some potent bitters. I need sage and I need uh, burdock root. So then you're going to need to go out and find the sage in the burdock root. At least you know then uh, what to search for on Google or whatever as far as getting those specific items and where to possibly find them. Other than that, the only other way to... Um, uh, t once you do start to craft, you can either set up a camp or you can rest and then craft through that menu but it's easier I find it's easier just to set up your camp that way you can come through this list and see exactly what you can and cannot make so we'll go ahead and tear down camp So one of the first things I need to do right now is I need to uh, I need to uh, get some feathers, and the reason why we're getting feathers is so that we can make um, uh, some improved arrows. So while we're hunting birds, we don't need to use the split point. Uh, ammunition. We can yep. just use regular ammunition to do that. Easy there. So this will take you some time to do this, uh, but it is an excellent source of food, especially from ducks. You can cook up the duck, and you've got yourself something to eat during the daytime uh, to keep your weight up. So there's, I guess, this to uh, I guess I could say this. There's like there's basically three things that are the most important things in this game. I'm just I I know this most um, tutorials pro tips and things like that, they kind of stick to, you know, they 
do point by point by point. I guess for this stream, I'm just gonna kind of just do whatever random stuff. So just prepared to watch this video and uh, see all the different things that I can share with you, what I've learned so far. But uh, back to what I was saying is that the three, I think the three most important things uh, in this game is going to be um, save, 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 save. Save like your life depends on it because the the auto save feature in this game is broke. Uh, what I mean by broke is that sometimes it saves at the most, it auto saves at the most inconvenient times. Like you saw I was riding back to camp and I was crossing a railroad track and it wanted to auto save. So I don't know why exactly it did that, but it just auto saves whenever it wants to. Uh, there isn't like a time thing, like you know, auto save every 15 minutes or auto save every 10 minutes or whatever. Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't do that. definitely going to want to save um, as much as you possibly can. Whenever whenever you've done something, like if you're getting ready to go into town, um, save before you go into town. If you're out hunting, save often. Um, this is going to keep you from losing items because if, for example, I was out uh, hunting the legendary buck and um, I after wandering around in the area, I finally found the uh, trail for the legendary buck, got it, and also at the same time had a, a plethora of, um, of uh, whatchamacallit, um, animal skins and a, a bear hide um, on me at the time, and basically lost everything because a cougar came out of nowhere and killed me. So I had to go all the way back to town and uh, and start all over again. And I should have saved um, right after killing the legendary uh, buck. I'm not very good at doing this without dead eye, am I? Alright, so let's do this. Let's go in here to our food. We're gonna eat some thyme venison because that does the most for the core. Now we're gonna go in here and go to our provisions, and we're looking for a provision like snake eye, uh, but something that snake oil. Uh, do I have something better than, or just something like already opened? There we go. Open snake oil, fully restores dead eye. So save often. Um, save often. Um, shoot and talk at the same time. Dang it. Dang you. Dang you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, save often, eat often, and um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, oh gosh. Now I can't, now I can't remember what I was going to say. Um, save often, eat often, I can't remember. It'll either come to me or I'll. Oh, chicken. Or I'll, uh. Eventually I'll think of it. <laughs> um, let's see, what else can I say? 
about this game that would be helpful. Um, when you're when you're out hunting, you can actually bring more than one horse with you. So if you go take someone's horse um, and create a bonding level with that horse, then you can have two horses with you. I've I've only had two horses with me at any one time. So, uh, um, I don't know if you can have more than two. Uh, if that's possible, then that would be great. You could have like three or four or maybe even more horses following you. And you could go out and instead of just bringing back the hide, you could kill and bring back the animal uh, carcass. Would be much more beneficial than just um, uh, what you might call it um, uh, having just one carcass at a time. Stay. So I'm going to set up camp here and show you something else. Some birds, so, so specifically, we're killing these birds to get the flight arrows to make improved to make or flight feathers to make improved arrows but some birds that you pick up um, won't actually give you the flight feathers until you cook them so like the playing game bird game and you'll know after you I think it happens after you cook it or just as you're starting to cook it. There we go. So as you can see, that did that. It added a plus bird game, uh, game meat uh, to my inventory, and increased my dead eye. So I stow it, playing game bird, and increased my dead eye. Some of the some of the, some of the birds like. Um, crows though uh, as you as you go to cook the crow uh, that will it'll actually give you the flight feathers at that time uh, this one's not specifically doing that but it basically the point that I'm trying to make is that some birds as you pick them up it doesn't give you the flight feathers right then and there you actually need to cook them So you can see right there, songbird feather. So those little tiny birds, the kind, the basically the kinds of birds that you pick up and immediately put into your pouch, those are the kind of birds that you're gonna get the flight feathers or f regular feathers from uh, randomly. Other than that, um, so we make some time. Uh, other than that, you'll get the uh, the flight feathers right away. So this is like one of the most important things to do as well. Beyond saving, you know, go into your, go into your camp and um, cook quite often. And you can make um, up to five of each kind. So as you can see, I already have of the, uh, where's the time? Four of four. I don't know why it didn't just let me continue cooking it though. That's weird. I'm pretty sure that's what I selected the first time. But creating different types will allow you to stow more. So, you know, if you have uh, thyme, oregano, those different types of ink, mint, uh, that will allow you to store, I think, up to five of each uh, kind. So it. In that case, if you had five mint, five thyme, and five oregano, you could have 15 uh, food on you at any one given time. And you do you do want to eat often, and you want to keep your weight in the positive, not not too much in the positive, but at least in the positive, uh, because of that again, because of that damage absorption uh, effect from being underweight. Uh, let's see if there's any ammo things that I can do. Okay, so what I'm crafting now is the arrow improved. You do not need the poison arrow right at the very beginning of the game, alright? Um, do, so don't waste your money down at the fence getting the recipe for the uh, for the poison arrow. You can just 
go out and buy arrows, kill a bunch of birds, and you can carry up to 10 uh, flight feathers at any one time. <coughs> so then <coughs> you can just craft the improved arrows. And the improved arrows will take down uh, medium sized games, so deers, um, uh, rams, uh, elks, uh, all of that, uh, th that, that size, of a, even a brown bear you can take down with a good shot to the head, you can, or a black bear, excuse me, you can take down with a dead eye shot to the head with the improved arrow. The difference between the improved arrow and the regular arrow is that with a regular arrow, when you go to skin the animal, uh, you pick up that regular arrow right off the bat. Um, where with the improved arrow, it's the arrow is so sharp that it literally flies right through the animal. <coughs> so if you want to make sure <coughs> you want to make sure to actually go and pick those arrows up off uh, walk past your kill and pick those arrows up um, from f uh, just past the animals and so you can see here I have improved and I have regular So you're going to want to use the improved when you're taking down uh, deer and such. Looks like I have, I have 29 regular and 29 improved, which is odd. Alright, so I need at least 10 more birds. American crow again this is the kind of bird that you you pick up and you're not gonna get you won't actually get the flight feathers until you uh, until you cook it um, how to okay how when you're out hunting how do I get perfect heights okay so <coughs> when you're out hunting Oops. Yuck. it's like this is some sort of a hawk okay so when you're out hunting what you're going to want to do is I think in chapter 2 it gives you the or chapter 1 or chapter 2 I'm not sure but at the near the start of the game you get a set of binoculars and so what you want to do is you want to use those binoculars to study the animal. And once you study the animal, uh, it will tell you what kind of quality it is. So there's poor, good, and perfect. So if I if I use my binoculars on my horse, I can hold down R1 to study it, and then hold our tap our one again to show the information on that particular animal but that's kind of like a poor example let's see if I can um, find an actual animal here to show you what I'm talking about as far as how to get perfect tides uh, this, is a, this is a bad place for me to be doing this unless I can see a bird flying in the air let's see if we can find a bird flying in the air Sam. But you're basically looking, you're going to use the binoculars and you're looking for the three stars. Um. Idiot. Oh. Easy, easy. So there, there goes a fox. Is 
kind of need to ride into. Oh, there we go. Here's some. Here's some game. So you see the the white tail deer. If I uh, once you once you study them enough, I guess it just tells you. But if you look down there at the bottom left, it shows you white tail deer, and it's got one star. So that's a poor. If it's got two stars, then it's a good, and if it's got three stars, then it's a perfect. Um, and so you're going to want to use the uh, improved arrows to take down those types of animals, because if you shoot them, you're going to ruin the hide. And so that's definitely something you don't want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and save here, because that is something you want to do often. This horse doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a saddle, so that's not gonna help. But this is one. Oh, jeez, the guy's on fire. Oh man, he fell into the fire. That's not good. Shit. Oh, so much for looting that guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's on fire. He's on fire, yo! Cigar, I'll take the cigar. <coughs> a lot of this stuff is sellables. Um, you don't need to keep a lot of, of the mundane things on you. You can um, basically just sell a good amount of stuff like the cigars and the chewing tobacco. Once you... Uh, once you start doing crafting and such, um, that those those items are pretty much just they're pretty much just useless. So we'll take those beats. Using the L2 also when you're looking at baskets or inside drawers will help a lot because there might be more than one item in there. Uh, Tonic. I can't pick that up. Uh, what else is in here? There should be another basket right over here. Uh, some gin. And that's it for that one. Should be all that's in that camp. I was looking for another horse, but. I think I'm actually going to go after uh, a treasure that I believe is on this cliff right here. I've got to get to that point right there. Bonding to level four. Easy. <laughs> Arrows curve with dead eye. 
which is really really helpful. Yeah. Uh, if you if you want the animal, um, Easy now. another uh, helpful hint is, is that your blood. <coughs> I see masks. I start getting suspicious. Yeah, well, too bad. Move along. If you want the animal carcass, to, or if you want the animal to not rot as fast, yeah, don't skin long. it. Just put it on the back of your horse, and then um, take it in to the butcher, drop it off at, in front of the butcher, skin it, and then um, uh, and then uh, sell it to the uh, the butcher. If you skin it out in the field and you try to take it to the town, by the time you get into town, depending on where you're at, most likely it's gonna it's gonna be rotted and it won't be able to sell it to them. Legendary animals you can sell to the um, the trapper in St. Dennis. Just make sure that you uh, um, don't again don't skin the animal in the wild. Put it on the back of your horse and then take it into town. Uh, when you do use the improved arrow, you're going to need to walk around uh, ahead of the animal um, to retrieve the arrow. Sometimes it's highlighted on the ground, it'll be flashing, uh, but I think after a period of time it just stops. That's kind of one of the inconveniences of using the improved arrows, but if you want to um, if you want to be able to keep those up um, and not lose not lose them and have to go out hunting birds all over again uh, as soon then you need to do this. There it is. It's right there. So there we go. Got our 29 improved arrows back. So both of these are, I think they were both good quality. We can check here in the horse cargo. So we got poor quality. You can see it has one star. We have good quality. It has two stars. And then we have perfect quality, which has three stars. So it's not based okay, on the weapon that you use. It's based on the stat of the animal itself. And the only way that you're going to find, if you're specifically looking for perfect animals, then um, you're going to need to use the binoculars like I showed before. I already have enough Yara. Um, yeah. Pressing down on both the L3 and the R3, we can look at things like this. So things, when it's glowing yellow like that, then that's that's a plant that you can pick. Um, so it's important to go out throughout the wilds and pick pick plants as as, as uh, when you're out hunting. Also take the time to examine the land and pick all the wild plants out. Uh, in the area, um, that basically, like this, I just got some wild carrots. So now Whoa, I can, easy. Uh, now I can uh, feed my horse without having to buy uh, the yeah. oats. If I just, if it's, you know, it's uh, health is a little bit low, I can uh, give it some wild carrots. Now there is a treasure map that I have, and I got it from a stranger, and it said to go to this area, I believe this is where I need to be, um, and then I would, what he basically said was that you go follow this map, it will lead you to another map that tells you where to go to get the treasure. So I'm hoping this is the location. But it showed that near the back of the, uh... Yeah kind of show that you need to go back up and around the back side of the cliff here in order to get to the spot. So I'm thinking this is it right here. I'm hoping this is it right here. So
treasure maps. There we go. The Jack Hall Gang Map 1 shows a landmark and other clues to find the treasure. So it shows a cliff, and then it shows there's, and there's a road, and there's some houses down there, and that doesn't look like this is it. It shows you gotta go up the mountain, and it's in between the two points. Is there any houses down there? Yeah, there's some houses down there. Okay. I think this might actually be the spot. So it should be over here somewhere. It's not daytime, so it's going to be hard to see. That looks like a rock. Somebody's out there shooting. chest or something. Should be <coughs> looks like it's off the second or in between the two things. This is the right location, that is. I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, and then, of course, it's, yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, now I remember. So, the three most important things save often, sleep often, or eat often, and then, of course, sleep often. All of those things affect your gameplay. So you see if we can find what we're looking for. Hopefully this is the spot. I don't, I'm starting to think it's not. Because there's no trees on top of this, uh, this cliff up here. But this is the only spot that i found so far that has the, uh, that has the, uh, these little rock points, I guess you could call them. So let me see here. Shows it being up against this side. Uh, I don't, don't see anything over here. It's getting kind of sketchy anymore. 
somebody's out there shooting. Alright, let's head back to camp. I got the guidebook, so I'm gonna look at the guidebook and see where I need to go to find this treasure. I don't think this is it. Somebody's shooting. Hopefully this has <coughs> an appendix in the back of it, or an index I mean, there we go, good. So D, H, E, H, I, J, why is it J, it's H, I, there we go, Jack Hall Gang Treasure Hunt 196. pages are marked right in the middle at the bottom alright so got the thing oh shoot it's right where you pick it up seriously, seriously? Okay, so it's just north of Sho of Horseshoe Overlook. Where is Horseshoe Overlook? Where was this guy at? He was somewhere down here. like somewhere over there. That's where you're gonna find that too. What's my control settings? Now you know what, sir? I was thinking the exact same thing myself. <coughs> I did see a helpful hint on the control settings on how to uh, make the game more enjoyable. So let's check that out real quick. I've been wanting to look at that. I didn't I thought maybe I'd do that off stream, but let's see. Settings controls and there was something about increasing the um, increase the sensitivity uh, increase your aim sensitivity and your look sensitivity I think or your aim sensitivity and then something about um, adjust the amount of dead zone between aiming and looking walls third person view something so yeah there is something about increase your sensitivity but then there is something about uh, the dead the uh, decrease the dead zone to narrow something like that uh, accessibility running mode only on on foot only Off. Uh, lock on mode. Uh, oh yeah, frame narrow. Okay, so lock on mode to narrow. Yeah. Um. And then max 
Max name a sensitivity. I think that's what. What are what is it? What is your uh, what is your um, hints? You got any hints for me? Oops. Look, uh, aim, look, acceleration. Adjust the amount of acceleration between aiming and looking whilst in third person view. Well, let's see what we got so far. the amount of dead zone between aiming and looking walls in third person. I don't know what the dead zone does, so I'm just gonna leave that alone for right now. Yep. Okay, then, girl. I'll look that up. Uh, what are the best yep. control settings for the game? Right now, I'm gonna go get me some treasure. I just killed a bunch of lawmen. I'm gonna tell the law all about you. They ever <laughs> yeah, well, they're probably not. And I'm gonna kill you anyway, so it don't really much matter. Oh, these are a bunch of O'Driscolls. Alright. I think I killed some O'Driscolls and I killed some lawmen. Get you out of the way so I can loot the other guys. I think I can set you down right there. Gold wedding ring, nice. Needed that. This is definitely the fastest way to make money. Is uh, selling those pocket watches and this and that. Oh, I was also gonna say, keep an eye on when you loot guys, because um, um, they'll either when you loot guys themselves or when you uh, uh, loot a camp so on and so forth, you'll pick up tonics. Now some of these tonics, you can just drink them and they will automatically give you a bonus to uh, to your experience with either health, your stamina, or your dead eye. Uh, let's see if we can break this lock. You shoot that lock? I won't have it on you. There we go. Now, come on now. I arrive with Colum Driscoll. Back, but it's gotta be done, gotta be done. Probably didn't, yeah, I was gonna say, this guy's probably didn't have anything to loot. Now, here's one thing I was saying earlier when you come across a situation like this, and let's say you're, you're going out hunting or whatever, or, um, or even just take, take a horse, and First thing we want to do is we're gonna feed this horse. That's a good girl. Some carrots. And increase the bond with it. There, girl. Give it a give it a tap. Oh, we'll let that cool down real quick. Give it a brush. And just by doing this a few times. 
Bring out the brush. We'll increase the level of the bond to one. Good girl. So a pat and a brush. Oh, just gotta wait for the cooldown on that. And we can take this horse and we can either use it with us as we're traveling. You doing good, girl. Or we can sell it off and make some money off the horse. Of course, you won't have papers for the horse, so you're not going to make as much. But you need to at least good get job. the bond level to one if you're going to go out hunting with the horse to carry more than one carcass back with you to make a little bit of extra money that way. Um, so that's how that... That's, how, that's what I've been doing. There we go. So we got the bonding level to one. So you can see if I get off this horse now, it'll show a horse symbol. So now, watch this. I'm going to whistle. And both these horses are going to follow me. So now I'm testing to see whether or not you can do this with more than two. Okay. So I'm going to get on this horse. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Yep. Lead him down the road here. So first off, feed it some carrots. I might give it a brush. Give it a hat. Get these guys up off the road. There's Rush. Working back and forth between patting it and brushing it, and you'll quickly unlock bond level one, which is definitely what you want to do before you get off the horse itself. Otherwise, it, it might not stick around. It might. It's not going to go far. It's not like it's going to run off uh, out into the wild. Easy, wanders. easy. But yeah, the wild carrots and the and the or the carrots and the apples and this that are the best things to do to increase the bonding level quickly. Uh, okay. but brushing and patting while you're moving along um, seems to be the way to do it. Just going there back and go. forth between brushing. See, they're already at bonding level one. Now, if I set, uh, oops, don't. Oh yeah, I was gonna say this too. You don't have to press start and then open the map. You can just hold down the start button. And uh, uh, that will open up the map. So I'm going to go here to the stable. We'll remember, we'll remember where that other point is at. So as I'm making my way, I'm just going to show you. There we go. Going to a light, uh, light trot. And you can see I got two horses following me. So at this point, I could bring back three carcasses, yep. either to camp Load up. or to uh, the butcher. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a you know, it doesn't have to actually be walking the horse. But you can uh, get just a little bit of a trot going on here. And well, just keep no, doing this no. back and forth. Brushing the horse. Hey, you're Pat okay, the horse. Girl. And see how long it takes to get to bonding level two. I wonder if I can achieve it before getting to Valentine. Probably not. Yeah, Valentine's pretty girl. close here. But we'll uh we'll give it a try. Easy, girl. I see some deer ahead. So just to show you what you can do here, you can... And I, I don't know if there is an actual limit to how many horses you can get following you, but right now I have two horses following me. 
so. <laughs> now, I tell you, I will tell you this, like if I'm um, on this horse, um, you can see that the items for um, camp or for clothing, this and that, will not be on these other secondary horses. Uh, nor will you be able to switch weapons on these off horses. Um, I th I'm not sure exactly. I think after you get to a certain bonding level, um, you are able to uh, take uh, different sidearms and so on and so forth and your clothing um, from these separate horses. I'm not sure on that. Um, but anyways, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, if you want to get your weapons or your um, change your clothing, change your outfit, then uh, oh, you're going to need to get back on your primary horse to do that. The only main reason why I do this is because uh, if if you were out hunting for a really, really, really long time and you actually filled all the slots on your horse as far as leather goes, then first of all, that's like a massive achievement. Um, it's, it's pretty difficult to do that. Um, um, it, that, that would take just an enormous amount of time. But here we go, here's those deers. The other reason why I would say to do this that would be a good reason to do it is because you can put more than one animal carcass on your on your horse or on the horses. You can come back with more than one. So again, don't don't skin the animal out in the wild. Uh, if you're trying to sell, if you want to sell the meat, uh, if you need food immediately to set up camp, then yeah, do that. Um, skin it right there on the spot. If you're not planning on selling the carcass, but if you are planning on selling the carcass, then then don't don't uh, don't skin it out in the wild. Leave it intact and bring it back to the butcher. Skin it in front of the butcher shop. And then sell the carcass. You can see here. So I've got two two carcasses that I can take with take back with me. So this is an improved hunting. Uh, how to you know hunt a lot a lot faster. Or, or at least, ma not faster, but t to make more money, basically, is what I was trying to say. Uh, you'll be able to carry back more carcasses. And I don't know if there's a limit to how many of these horses you can bring out with you. As far as I know, there, there may not be a limit. You may be able to have a train of ten or more horses, which is pretty cool. Uh, you definitely couldn't do this in the first version of Red Dead Redemption. Deer, get one more deer here quick, try to find more deer quickly before these carcasses start to rot. And it even sounds cool. Okay. You can hear the other horses running around behind you. Alright, so don't know. Oops, sorry. Back around. Whoa. 
side. <laughs> Where'd they go? Easy. Whoa. Deer, they move fast and they're just gone. Oh, come on. Where'd they go? They gotta be over here on this side somewhere, maybe. Well, anyways, you can see the idea here. Yeah. So we're just gonna head back into town here. Head into Valentine, and first I'm gonna get myself something to eat. Better time venison. actually got two of them. Just trying to find my arrow here real quick. Oh, can't find it, so we're going to pick this guy up. Call it a day there, girl. Can't believe I actually got two of them in one shot. I guess that goes to show you with this improved arrow, yeah, man, it, it definitely, <laughs> it definitely is the way to go, the improved arrow. It went through one animal and into the next one. That would be nice to find, be nice to find that arrow. But, I think as far as that goes, I'm running out of time. Stow this, uh, stow the hide. <laughs> Alright, get on my horses. Get on my horse. Come on. Yep, yep. Get ya. Again, this is one of the best things you can do when you're out hunting, is bring multiple horses with you. I mean, not so much for the, the skins, because you, I mean, your primary horse, once you upgrade your saddle, 
bags on the horse. I mean, you're going to be hard pressed to um, to fill every last slot on with leather. I mean, you're just. I mean, that's that's going to be hunting for. You know that that would take you in an in an insane amount of time to do that. So it's more on the on the idea of the carcasses being able to bring the carcasses Wait, back with you. There, girl. Yeah. And then also at the same time when you're doing this, um, you can take these horses right, and sell them to the stable guy and make a little bit extra money. I'm not sure if wearing your mask um, makes an effect on on uh, selling items to the butchers or buying items from vendors and this and that here in towns. But I would say one of the advice that I heard was to wear your mask when you're inside towns, just because um, stupidest the stupidest things can happen. You can bump into somebody, and the next thing you know, somebody's running off well, and my going to tell like the uh, about time we went on tear. going to tell the. the the sheriff or whoever where's the butcher at yep um, where is the butcher so this is what you do so now you're just gonna skin it won't take long right here in front of the butcher who is not here for whatever reason, I don't know. I've never not seen him here, so I have no clue what's going on right now. Got some blood on just there. Stow the. What the frick is going on right now? I have no clue what's going on. I don't know where the butcher's at. Well, this isn't helpful. Well, I guess if you know, obviously you can see what I'm doing here. So I got three carcasses, and I should be able to sell all three. I'm not sure. Uh, oops, don't pick up, darn it. I'm actually not sure at this point because I can see the flies uh, flying around him, and if you can see flies going around him, then that usually means that the corpse is beginning to run. I'm nearly there. So I guess what you would want to do is do a situation where you're near the butcher and wait and t either use some bait, or herbivore bait, or something like that. And, Look at um, that haul. Must really know what you're doing out there. <laughs> yeah, see? Look at that haul. Must really know what you're doing out there. Well, yeah, well, it doesn't help that the butcher's not here. Hello. I wish partner. I knew where the butcher was so I could sell my stuff to him. Hello, sir. What the frick? Come on. Where's the damn butcher? Whatever. He's not here. So I'm gonna take this horse. Okay, take this horse. Girl. My other horse is to follow me, that is. Yep. It's not sure why the third yep, horse yep. isn't following. I think maybe because of the bonding level. this horse
Hopefully that other horse on the outside is still there. I come out. Howdy. Can I help you with your horse? I got space for Sell you for if you two need dollars. Really? If you ain't got <laughs> the papers, I can't give you them. Safe travel. Well, that sucks. Remember to rent that horse $2. sometimes. Only making two dollars off the horse. All right, girl. I thought I would make more than two dollars. But I ain't got no papers, so I guess I can't get dang near two dollars. Oh, two dollars and forty cents. We've got room in the stable if you need it. Don't you worry about them. I'll look after them real nice. Hey, get moving. Hey, well, where's the dang butcher? Is what I want to know. I'm really upset about the fact that I got on, three carcasses girl. sitting over there on the ground that I can't sell. More skins that I can't sell. And what the turd? <laughs> what Pardon? the dang near dang dang ding dang 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 it? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got going on in our crafting stuff. See if there's some items in town here that I can sell. Well, I'm just carrying around the dark Whoa, whoa. How do you do? Uh, sometimes these horses can be so finicky. Listen. Everything you need. Have a look. Sell items. Sure, I'm always willing to stack up. So see what we got here. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to sell any of my tonics right now. Uh, oh, anything that restore anything any tonic that restores cores, you can sell. Uh, because when you eat the food, which you're going to be doing often anyways, uh, all of those will restore the cores for both health, stamina, and dead eye. So any kind of tonic that that uh, restores or helps, uh, in, or you know, fills the core is useless to you. So you can sell those. Anything that, that actually fills the meter itself, when I was a boy. you don't want to... Uh, sell that stuff. So like like this gin, it restores both stamina and the dead eye core. So well, we can done. sell that. Uh, cigar you don't want to use. That stuff's trash. Uh, well, that looks like that's all this guy's gonna want to buy from us. Uh, we gotta go to the trapper to get rid of the get rid of the birds and such. I am low on oat cakes, so I'm gonna grab some. Survivor, you only really need one of those on you at any one time. Um, you. There's actually stuff that's better to use than the horse reviver. Um, and again, if you're saving often, then you're not going to need to even worry about carrying any of that with you. Oh, there's, there's the butcher. What you want to bet? I can't sell any of these carcasses. Welcome back. I bet you I can't sell. Getting quick, folks, before I eat all these jobs myself. Oh, well, looks like I'm able to. You're looking for a fair price on that, huh? Pleasure doing carcass. business with you. Nice. How much did that sell Thanks. for? The guy finally showed up. I'm glad these didn't rot already. What you got there looks like I can finally show you guys how this works. 
So two dollars and thirty one cents for the carcass. So I guess if you had a train of horses <laughs> I mean this would be one way to, you know, pick up some money. But again, if you're really hurting for money, then the fastest way to make the big bucks is to go to the fence and sell all the jewelry. Um that's that's gonna be the, the 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 best way for you to really mm. make money. Ain't no money. Uh, these buck antlers I can get rid of. I don't need those. I'm gonna save the game meat. Flight feathers. I'm gonna save these hawk sure. feathers. I'll I'm sell off. Uh, the crow carcass. I'm not gonna sell because I should get some more flight feathers when I cook them up. Uh, the songbird <sighs> feather. The raven feathers. Chicken feather, uh, four seater wax wing carcass. Uh, I'm gonna keep all those birds. Animal fat, sell that off because I'm not making explosive stuff. Duck feathers. Alright, so all that's taken care of. I'm gonna go across the street here. Thanks for your assistance. Hope you ain't here to hell about it. And uh, we're gonna craft and cook. So should be able to get some more flight feathers off of these. Um, uh, what the heck? How come it's not showing the crows? showing those crow carcasses. Uh, maybe they're rotted or something like that. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but normally you can cook those. I think, I thought at least. seen that before, breakdown. It's not doing anything though. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do this. Some of them are just aren't breaking down. I'm assuming that's because they're rotted. I don't really know. All right, so I can't do anything with these guys. So I'm gonna discard the one. Can I not discard it? Well, what the hell?
maybe because, uh, did I just eat a raw bird? Maybe it won't let me break those down because I already had enough, uh, or, I, or I had, um, uh, too much game meat on me anyways. so weird about the game mate. Let me see what I've got. See, I have gamey bird mate. Getting quick, folks, before I eat all these chops myself. Yeah, I bet you would, too. Fat bastard. <laughs> okay, so I have 40 of 40, nice, improved, and I have 15 of 40, regular. Alright, nice. That's what I needed to know. So I got 159 of 200, and I got 100 and 100 of the split point. Oops. Uh, 46 of 200. And 100. Wait, 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 which one? No, 100 to 100 of the split point, and 46 of 200 of the regular. Alright, that's good to know. And this should be just about full on those. Alright, great. We're at a good place right now. I do need to, uh, whoa. Lord. My dang horse just took a poop. <laughs> I do need to come check out the ammunition store. Hey, Roughneck. No one put a bullet in you yet? Hell, I'd give him a badge. Never better. Get your here. news here, Valentine. Give a fellow a nickel. There you go. Looks like he lost his arm. Hey, buddy. Yep. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Yeah, absolutely, man. Except. <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. 
long, long time. My last friend died. They it weren't my fault. My fault. <laughs> they said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? What Can the hell? I? Um, yeah, only because you're a vet. What the hell? Okay, just quickly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. We always each other in the war. What the hell? You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. down here <laughs> <coughs> I will say this when you see those white markers of people talking in town they need they need help out in the wilds or from you. in town yeah. it's definitely worth your time to go ahead and help them out one guy uh, got bit by a snake I helped him out and the next time I came to a particular town he ended up uh, allowing me to go into the um, uh, go into oh, the wait. shop You're and he, and he would buy anything. Uh, I could yeah. buy anything I wanted on him People so I ended up buying a, that, an outfit but... that actually cost right. like $200 no, no, or like enough. $80 or Not something like that. Anyway, how can I help you today? Let's see what we got. Clean weapon. I'm going to clean up all of my weapons. Actually, surprised at how the vermin rifle haven't used any of those. Sawed off shotgun, not using that one. I don't think the pump action needs anything. What about the hunting knife? Can you even clean the hunting knife? No. Styles. Varnish. I'm gonna change the varnish up. Hurry up on some ammunition. I will say this about this game compared to the other, um, compared to the first Red Dead Redemption, is that it seemed like in the first Red Dead Redemption that you were literally going in to the ammunition store and buying ammunition like crazy, like you always had to be doing that. This, this is only the second time that I've had to um, come into the, and it probably it's not even necessary for me to come in here. And uh, do this. I'm gonna go ahead and re up on all of these. Uh, revolver cartridges, high velocity. Don't need that. Just buy the regular cartridges and split point them and in the crafting menu, and those are definitely good enough. Um, you have the express uh, pistol cartridges, regular. Believe those are Yours now. Volcanic rifle or pistol. I'm gonna do that. Repeater cartridges, regular. Again, just buy regular ammo. You don't need the high velocity or the uh, or the express or anything like that. Um, you just don't. Uh, rifle cartridges, regular. Good. Good. Shotgun, slug, and regular rifle express arrows. Buy some more regular arrows. Uh, upgraded permanently increases capacity for revolver and pistol ammo by 50%. Nice, okay. Upgraded bandolier permanently increases capacity for repeater rifle. Or a repeater rifle and shotgun. If that paper boy shots. stays at that post next to my shop any longer, I may lose it. Very dangerous for oh, a gunsmith nice. to Look snap. At this. <laughs> okay.
Upgraded holes of permanently slows degradation for all weapons by 20%. Hmm. I might need to come back and check that out later sometime. But right now, I don't think I need it. I don't feel like I need it. And plus, I'm trying to build my That's money. That's it for now. Thank you. Really. It's 11. Just in time. Just, just enough time to get myself a bath. Go into the saloon, get a drink, get something to eat. Oh, excuse me. Welcome, Sorry. welcome. Come on in. <laughs> I got someone warming it up for you already. <laughs> just head down the corridor the there. <laughs> extra help there. Would you like some extra help? Normally I say yes, okay. but I'm going to decline because I'm just going to All right, I'll quickly. leave you to it then. That way I'm not wasting too much time. I want to be able to get into the saloon, get myself a couple drinks, get something to eat, and then come back to the hotel and get some sleep. I feel so sorry for the girls around here. I hear the commotion from the rooms all the time, and it just ain't friendly. Can I get a room for tonight, please? Thanks. Now that's how you go, bad for you. go through the door. Get some whiskey. whiskey Ooh, that Jenny's like honey for flies. Wonder how many men proposed to her this week. Who? Well, one of the girls keeps a book on how many men asked to take her away. Last slide for you. Food. Time to get a haircut. Can have this real nice. What kind of men are you? Hmm? It's Thomas boys. Now that is Liner. some serious undergrowth Ooh, up top there, friend. I'll have Liner. you neatened up in no time. On the trail, boy, in a house there. in 68. We sold his labor to the yeah, engines. And then we ate him when it got cold. And I'll tell you what. He tasted like shit. Okay, which was but to make about right. Sad, honey. He was a turd of a man. God this cut'll look after itself. Her. You look like something out of my dreams. Welcome back. Oh wow, I can't believe it's already 3 o'clock in the morning. All I did was take a bath. Time should travel slower than this. <laughs> that was crazy. Took a bath, let me go get a drink. 
drink or something to eat, got a haircut, and it's, it was 11 o'clock before I rented or took a bath, and now it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm going to sleep till noon, get a good amount of sleep. I think I'm going to end the stream here. I hope that uh, what I could help with helped out uh, for the viewers. You guys take care of yourselves.